Welcome back. This is the second segment, Vocabulary. Once you complete repeating the list of words and phrases from the board in Theme Picture, you can leave the board and begin collecting your props, pictures, photos, and other props that you will be using to teach your vocabulary. Remember, you want your students to listen and repeat the words, not just write them down on a piece of paper. They need to be looking at you, your mouth in particular, to see how you form the sounds and the stress points of each word. So make sure their books are closed too. Learning vocabulary is an agonizing procedure. You can make it a wonderful adventure and successful experience by doing two important things. First, be sure to use the new word in a meaningful sentence. And second, use the other learning methods, such as touching, activities and role playing, to reinforce the sound and stress of a word, as well as its meaning. A person must use a new word 40 to 60 times before it becomes part of his or her vocabulary. So don't be afraid to repeat many, many times. Just remember that a beginning learner can only understand and use a simple sentence. For example, if you're introducing the word man, be sure to include the indefinite article, a man. Then use the word in the most simple sentence, this is a man. Don't try to introduce more complex sentences until your students have control of the vocabulary and make sure your students are able to use the singular before introducing the plural. Now this means that your students will need to hear the different sound patterns with the questions as well as with the answers. The rhythm for the question answer, what is this? This is a man is altered to, what are these? These are men. You hear the difference? Make sure your students are able to first complete the singular, then introduce the plural. Give your students time to hear and learn the different sound patterns by introducing each repetition by saying, please listen, and then state the question, what is this? What are these? Now your students are bright, they'll, they'll hear the difference. And through patient repetition, beginning with, please listen, they'll grasp the meaning when they hear you use singular and the plural in simple, complete sentences. Let me point out some strategic points for teaching vocabulary. First, always ask your students questions. What is this? What are these? Rather than just telling them the name of something, they may already know what that object's name is. Second, challenge your students by purposely making mistakes. For example, hold up a pen or hold up a can and say, is this a box? Well, after everyone will categorically disagree, then ask them, what is this? And let them give the correct answer. Third, an activity that you can use is to let one student ask another student the question which you have been asking. Student one, then ask the question, what is this? Student two, then will answer, this is a man. And remember, you want to help your students learn how to use English. You can't teach a language. The student must learn it. And as a tutor, you're, you're really a coach, a helper in the learning process. So the faster you place your students in the role of asking and responding, the faster they will be able to use English. And then last, let the students stand up and be active. Sitting is not only boring, it utilizes only one of our learning skills. Get your students up 
After they learn the names of objects, you can ask them to point to or to pick up an object and have them go and do it. You can play a memory game with cue cards or word bingo. Some tutors draw or place photos on one side of a 3x5 card with words of the object on the other side. Divide your students up into two groups and have them compete using the flashcards. See who has the most correct answers. And after that, you can offer a small prize to the team that wins. Motivate through fun. Your student, regardless of their age, will always come back for more. Now let's take a look at a class that is teaching a few words of vocabulary. What is this? What is this? This is a man. Very good. This is a man. Please repeat. This is a man. Very good. What is this? This is a man. Very good. What is this? This is a man. Very good. What is this? This is a man. Very good. And what is this? This is a man. What is this? This is a man. Very good. This is a man. This is a man. This is a man. What are these? These, these are, are men. Very good. These are men. Please repeat. These, these are men. men. Very good. What is this? This, this is a man. man. What are these? These, these are, are men. men. Very good. What is this? This is this is a woman. What is this? This, this is, is a woman. woman. Uh, what is this? This, this is, is a, a woman. woman. Very good. What is this? This is this. a woman. What is this? This is a woman. Good. Um, Nathaniel, what is this? This is a woman. Very good. Excellent. Uh, what is this? This is a woman. Good. Woman, a woman. What are these? These are, these are women. women. These are women. Very good. What are these? These, these are, are women. women. Good. What are these? These, these are, are women. women. Good. What is this? This, this is, is a woman. woman. Very good. What is this? This, this is, is a woman. woman. Very good. What is this? This, this is, is a woman. woman. Good. What are these? These, these are, are women. women. Very good. Uh, Suk, what is this? This is a woman. Very good. Uh, Nathaniel, what is this? This is a woman. Good. Uh, what this, is this? This is a woman. Good. What are these? These are women. Good. What are these? These are women. Good. What is this? This is a woman. This is a woman. Mm -hmm. What is this? It's a woman. Very good. Is this a woman? No. 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 What is this? This, this is, is a man. man. Good. Uh, is this a woman? Yes. yes. This, this is, is a woman. woman. Very good. Uh, are these men? Yes. 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 These, these, are these are men. men. Are these men? No. 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 These, these are, are women. women. What is this? This, this is, is a basket. basket. This is a basket. Very good. Repeat. This, this is, is a basket. basket. Very good. What is this? This is a basket. What is this? This is a basket. Excellent. What is this? This is a basket. Very good. What is this? This, this is, is a basket. basket. And what is this? This is a basket. basket. And what are these? These, these are baskets. baskets. Very good. What is this? This is a basket. And what is this? This is a basket. And what are these? These are baskets. Very good. Okay, what is this? 
This is a telephone. Very good. What is this? This is a telephone. Yes, this is a telephone. Uh, what is this? This is a telephone. Good. What is this? This is a telephone. Excellent. What is this? This is a telephone. Very good. What is this? This, this is, a, is telephone. a telephone. This is a telephone. This is a telephone. What are these? These are telephones. Very good. Telephone. What are these? These are telephones. Good. What is this? This is a telephone. Good. What are these? These are telephones. Good. Uh, Nueve. Hello there. How are you? What is this? Oh, hello. This is a telephone. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, come on. Ask her what the, what's this? What is this? Hello. Hello. Oh, what is this? This is a telephone. Good. Thank you. One. One. Nathaniel, call her. Ask her what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please catch. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Hello. Laura, what is this? This is a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Great <Yeah>. job. <laughs> what is this? This is a it's basket. basket. Very good. Ask Nathaniel, what is this? Nathaniel, what is this? This is a basket. Nathaniel? June, what is this? This is a basket. Very good. Ask yeah. Sue. What is this? This is a basket. Okay. See, trade. <laughs> what is this? This is a telephone. <laughs> what is this? This is a telephone. Very Excellent. good. Excellent. You're doing so well. Very good. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn to teach a few vocabulary words. From lesson one, I want each of you to select at least two content words so that each team will teach the first six words from lesson one. Once you complete this, have your team work together teaching the word opposites and the words found under that heading, opposites. It's important for you to teach this concept of opposite because the meaning of a word is often understood more quickly by noting its opposite. It will help you immensely when you begin teaching concepts rather than real objects. Since this is a little different approach than just teaching a solid object as you have done before, let's take a look very quickly at what a tutor is doing to introduce the concept of opposites. Watch this. Opposites. Listen, opposites. Opposites. Black. White. Black. White. Opposites. Please listen. Opposites. Opposites. Black. White. Opposites. Repeat. Opposites. Repeat. Opposites. Very good. Opposites. <coughs> On. Off. On, off, opposites. Listen. Opposites. Closed, open. Closed, open. Opposites. 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 Very good. Opposites. In, out. In, out. Opposites. Repeat. Opposites. Opposites. On, off. Opposites. On, off. Please repeat. 
Opposites. Opposites. Very good. Everybody repeat. Opposite. Opposites. 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 Very good. Opposites. Opposites. Very good. Opposites. Opposites. You got it. Very good. Opposites. 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 Very good. Yes? No. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Yes? yes. 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 No. 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 True, false. True. True. True, false. 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 True, false. Opposites. Repeat. Opposites. Yes, no. Opposites. Opposites. Very good. A friend. A friend. Hey, Hi, John. How are you? How are you good doing? Good to see you. A friend. Repeat. A, A friend. friend. An enemy. An enemy. <coughs> <coughs> An enemy. enemy. An enemy. Repeat. An enemy. An, An enemy. enemy. Very good. Okay. An enemy. Repeat. An enemy. Very good. A friend. Repeat. A friend. A friend. A friend. Very good. Please listen. Help. 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 Please repeat. Help. 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 Oh. Oh. Hurt. 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 Please repeat. Hurt. 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 Help. Help. Repeat. Help. 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 Okay, you act it out. Help. Thank you. Help. Very good. Okay. Uh, Noemia and June. Friend and enemy. Friend. <laughs> Very good. Friend. Enemy. Very good. True, false. Opposites. Yes, no. Friend, enemy. Help, hurt. Opposites. Repeat. Opposites. Opposites. Remember, for your students, no writing, no looking at their books. This is listening and speaking only. Okay, turn off the tape now and spend about 45 minutes with your students. I'll be here waiting for you. Well, how did it go? Felt a little awkward. Most of us do because we're not used to talking to others in English using all sorts of body motions, role playing, or games, unless you have been involved in teaching vacation Bible school at your church. Trust me, if you have the knack for drama or are uninhibited, then you'll have more fun than you can shake a stick at. 
But if you feel that you're unable, then just use your teammate. Just don't get bogged down in a massive cerebral exercise of writing and repeating meaningless lists of words. I know you're waiting anxiously to learn our next segment, so I'll see you there. Goodbye.